Hi everyone, my name is Timur Bislangurov. I am a managing partner at Vista Immigration Law Firm in Moscow. And today we're going to speak about another way to immigrate to Russia, but which doesn't depend on anyone but yourself. So, uh, this way is to obtain permanent residency in Russia by company setup. So, any foreign national can come to Russia and register his own company. And uh, unlike other countries, you can be a 100% shareholder of this company and you can be a general director of this company. You don't need to have a Russian general director or a Russian partner to do that. So, um, in general, what's the idea about this um, possibility to immigrate? Is that you set up your own company, you employ yourself in this company and uh, get yourself a highly qualified specialist work permit. And after several years, you can obtain permanent residency unrelated to employment. So let's go and dig into this process. So point number one, you, you, you should come to Russia to register your own company. Yeah. Why you need to come to Russia is because uh, in order to open the bank account of the company, the Russian bankers would have to physically see you in person. Yeah. They cannot do the verification on video, Zoom or any other means. Yeah. Because of the deep fake technology in Russia, it's not allowed. So you would have to come to Russia to set up your own company. So the most important thing with regards to setting up your own company is to have an office uh, address like office premises in order to register the company. You cannot use registered address or lawyer's address. It's not really a way to do in Russia. Yeah, it has to be a locatable physical office. It can be very small. It can be one single desk, but it has to be locatable because tax authorities may come or they can send uh, letters. And if there is no reply, your bank accounts will be blocked. Potentially immigration authorities may come to check whether your company exists and whether this company is uh, located at this address. So number one is locate, is securing the uh, office space. So company registration, once all that things are kind of established, takes about three to five days. Yeah, then a couple of days to open the bank account and pretty much within a week, two weeks, you can register your own company. And the next step would be filing the application for the highly qualified specialist work permit and letters of invitation. Now, uh, you can file for the letters of invitation, not only for yourself, but pretty much for all of your family, dependent family members. Yeah, it can be wife, husband, kids, parents, grandkids. Uh, everyone can get the invitation letters for the highly qualified specialist work permit uh, based on the main applicant. Uh, that process takes approximately three to four uh, weeks. You don't need to spend um, in Russia that time. You need to be in Russia for that and for the filing itself. While the process takes three to four weeks, you are free to exit Russia and moreover, you will have to exit Russia because once the letters of invitations are issued, you will have to apply to the Russian consulate uh, abroad for the highly qualified specialist visa based on this letter of invitation that would be issued. Yeah. So the step number three is obtaining the three year work visas in the Russian consulate. The dependent family members will also get three year visas. They will not be work. They will be dependent family member visas. Point number four would be coming to Russia and basically start an employment. Yeah. You will have to collect physically your work permit and that will be the kickoff date when you will need to uh, basically employ yourself and pay yourself a salary. As soon as you co collected your work permit, the law allows you to actually apply for the residency, which will be based on the highly qualified specialist work permit. Now, this residency by itself is a permanent residency, but not by the timing, yeah? Meaning that it's linked to the employment, it's linked to the validity of the work permit, which is three years. Um, uh, for applying for the residency, yeah, you would need also the police check and other documents. But what's interesting, you don't need to pass the Russian language test. Yeah, that's surprisingly, but you don't need the Russian language test in order to apply for the residency based on the highly qualified specialist work permit. And all your family members, dependent, which received the visa can also apply for the residency with you. Now, the new law, the new law, yeah, that existed for quite a while. Now, the new law says the following. After two years from the moment that you received your residency based on HQS, you can apply for the permanent residency, which would be unrelated, not linked to the employment at all. Which means that once you receive this permanent residency, 
you can liquidate your company, you can stop employment, you can keep the company but just not be employed with this company, you are free from paying yourself the salary and the taxes. Yeah. So uh, the process to get the residency, uh, the initial one on the highly qualified specialist, uh, will take about three to four months. Uh, similar will be uh, after two years, the indefinite unrelated residency will also take about three to four months to obtain. Now, the important thing, uh, let's speak about salary and the applicable taxes. Yeah. So under current laws, and today is 1st of August 2023, the the law says that in order to be to qualify for the highly qualified specialist work permit, the employer has to pay to the employee the salary in the amount of 167,000 rubles a month, yeah, which is right now approximately uh, $1,700 gross salary. Now, uh, this salary includes. 13% tax, yeah, the individual income tax, which the employee has to pay, is 13%. And this amount is 21,700 rubles. That uh, what will be the tax on this salary. Yeah? Uh, now, you will get back to yourself 145,000 rubles as your salary, um, back to your pocket. So, this will uh, be applicable until you get and while you have the work permit highly qualified specialist and until you obtain the residency based on this work permit as soon as you get the residency based on the highly qualified specialist work permit another tax kicks in which will be the employer tax yeah social taxes pension taxes and approximate uh, because there is a uh, the tax rate is uh, de uh, decreases the higher the salary the lower is the tax so the tax would be 27,486 rubles. You will pay, employer will pay additionally to this amount. This amount employer will pay for social and pension taxes. And that will kick in approximately after three, four months from the moment you get your work permit and right after you get your residency, your status changes. Yeah, you'll have to pay the pension and social taxes. Now, from 1st of March 2024, by the law, the salary for the highly qualified specialists will increase for everyone and it will go up to 250,000 rubles a month. Uh, and here are the taxes, yeah, so as of 1st of March next year, that will be the gross salary, so individual income tax will be 13% again, but uh, the actual number is 32,500 rubles and as soon as you get your residency, you'll have to pay social taxes and pension contributions, which is 39,936,000 ,000 rubles. Basically, this way to immigrate is not related to any approval, to any lottery, not dependent on the government. Anyone can come to Russia and do that. And if you calculate how much time you'll have to basically bear the responsibility to pay yourself the salary, that will be approximately for two and a half years. Yeah, if we calculate everything, all the process, maybe a bit more. Uh, and in taxes, it's very hard to say exactly the number, yeah, because it depends on when you start. If you start now, your salary will be less. If you start after 1st of March, your salary will be higher. But in any case, uh, these are the amounts in taxes that you'll have to pay. Yeah, and in order to apply for unrelated to highly qualified specialist residency, you have to pay yourself a salary and hold this residency for two years. And if we calculate, say we calculate the highest number, it's about 70,000 rubles a month, which is right now about 700 euros a month in taxes that you'll have to pay. So dependents also get uh, the residency, but for them you don't need to pay anything. Yeah? So that's um, one of the new ways to uh, immigrate to Russia and pretty much it's unrelated to anyone. Yeah, it's not dependent on the government. Uh, so that's why I like it, uh, although it's a bit expensive. But why I like it is because there is a, there is a straightforward way to do it. Uh, there will be other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.